I'm Sister Delphine Mkwana, Daughters of the Heart of Mary. I work at the Association of Sisters of Kenya as a project manager for the Catholic Care for the Children in Kenya. Catholic Care for Children in Kenya is a program that spearheads for holistic community and family-based care. This program began in 2018 May when GHR Foundation and the association leadership had a conversation on how sisters can be supported to better their charism of care and mostly for vulnerable children. In 2018, October, EOS KCCK began, whereby we went and carried out a baseline survey in all our AUs, or what we call dioceses of the Catholic Church, and we wanted to identify what might be the gaps in the care of children. This is because as an association, this program is very important to help sisters respond better to their care, charism of care. And when you talk of charism of care, it's not something new because most of our congregations have this charism of care for the vulnerable children and adults as well. And we realize that there are many congregations that are taking care of vulnerable children across our 25 dioceses or 25 AUs. The program of CCK treasures the best care of children and protection. And it's because we are founded on four pillars. We are led by the Catholic faith based on biblical teachings on care and the protection of children, on the Catholic social teaching as well, and more especially on dignity of human person and sacredness of life. Also we are aligned to the United Nations Convention on the Right of the Child and also one an, another pillar is we are aligned to the social sciences because they inform us on research what are we supposed to do for us to offer right care for the children. Uh, Catholic Care for Children has got different congregations that we are partnering with, both male and female, and the dioceses alike, because when you talk of Catholic care, it encompasses all priests, brothers, sisters that are taking care of the vulnerable children. And from the results of findings of our baseline survey, we had 132 child care institutions, or what we call CCIs, of which the highest number is run by sisters. 67 of them are found and run by sisters, while the rest, they either belong to the diocese or to a congregation of brothers or priests. So you can see that Care of children is not something that has begun now. It began some time back, long time. And therefore, as an association, we are interested in seeing that we help sister because this is a sister-led movement, as I can call it. I call it movement because it's not only in Kenya. It is in Uganda and in Zambia. In fact, it began in Zambia came to uh, Uganda, and now it's in Kenya. 
The CCK is supporting sisters in higher education to attain social work. We have sisters in Catholic University that are studying social work in certificate, diploma, and degree. This is to help sisters to be in a position to serve well, meaning that they understand and they're able to offer services that is appropriate. We also uh, train sisters who are not administrators in these child care institutions but by creating awareness to the community and to all other people we train we offer workshops on the importance of children growing and developing in their communities or in their families or in alternative care when you talk of alternative care this can mean to be a child is fostered, a child is adopted, or a child child led uh, uh, households whereby children stay alone but they are supported and many others. And we also help congregations to have legal framework in place. This means that they should have a child protection policy that guides them, helps them to protect well their children. I'd like the workers also because there's a need of each and every person to understand their responsibility of taking care of the children. And therefore the, the, the program is doing all this to make sure that sisters are responding better to their charisms as is needed. CCK also is partnering with different uh, collaborators or partners to make sure that children grow up in families or in communities because we, as we all know the only best and good place for a child to grow and develop is in a family or in a community setup when I talk of community setup at least it can be in the kinship line or People who might be knowing this child or are related or not related but they are from the same community with this child. So the child grows up knowing his identity, knowing his culture and being able even to protect what belongs to him. When you talk of inheritance, as you know, as Africans, we really believe in, in inheritance. So if a child grows in an institution, will they know their culture? Will they be in a position to inherit what their parents have left behind if at all this child is an orphan? No, definitely no. But we are there to educate the community, to educate the sisters who are taking care of these children to know that the institutions are just there as a transit uh, center to help this child by rescuing this child from maybe abuse from parents or, or relatives or whichever kind of uh, abuse that can happen or violation of rights of this child. And only if at all is an extreme case that needs this child to be separated from the family. But if at all you can support this child and there's no need of this child being separated from the family, then there's no point of separating this child from the family. But the best way is you can help and support the family uh, the, to make sure that they take care of this child. But in the case where a child is separated from the family because of the extreme cases that we have maybe of abuse or viol uh, violation of their rights, then the child can be rescued and placed into a child care institution, which you call orphanages or rehabilitation centers and many others for a certain period of time, a very limited time. Of course, our Kenyan government gives us two years to three, the maximum, whereby this child is supported, helped, and is prepared to go back to the family. And as the association, we are trying to make sure that this is, is done. 
whereby we are also trying to uh, educate and uh, train sisters into also uh, counseling, basics in counseling, so that they are able to counsel the family, the community, and the child as well. And whenever there is this separation, they are able to apply this skill to help this child reintegrate after a period of time back to the family or community or be fostered or adopted. So what we stand for as Catholic Care for Children in Kenya is, and other parts of the world where the movement is present is, there's need for a child to grow and develop in his or her own family or community. And therefore we are calling upon all of us in our different milieu to help our communities, our families, to understand and to embrace our African culture, our African values of a child belongs to the community. And therefore, when a child is orphaned, should not be thrown to the orphanage, but we look into ways, how do we support this child? Then the orphanage should be the last resort where completely there's no another alternative. And therefore, our African culture states that we have to live as brother, brothers, sisters. So you are a sister's keeper, your brother's keeper. So let's re -af Africanize our care and the protection of our children because child care institutions this is just something that we learned that came some time back, but we can still go back to our way of life as Africans to take care of our children and families in the community. As a grandmother, as an aunt, as an uncle, you have a responsibility to protect and care for this child. And therefore, I urge every one of us that we can respond to this call that even Pope Francis is inviting us to take care of the minors, to protect them. So what is your responsibility in your own small way to make sure that this child also has a family, has an identity, has a culture? And therefore, as Christians, we are called to take care of children. As Jesus himself said, let them come to me. So let's open our arms and protect these children. Thank you.